Okay, here's an example of selecting a simple random sample. In this example, we're going to use a TI-84 to randomly select five of the following 10 students without replacement. So first, we have to create a frame by numbering the names. So we need to attach a number to each particular student. So we're going to assign one to Gabe, two to Tammy, three to Amanda, four to Nick, and so on, all the way to 10. Next, we're going to use a TI-84 to generate the random numbers between 1 and 10 inclusive. We will have the calculator generate 8 such numbers rather than 8 numbers in case there are repeats. The sample should not include a student more than once because we are sampling without replacement. Now the first thing we need to do is we have to start by entering a number called a seed. A seed is a counting number that serves as a trigger for technology to generate random numbers. To select a seed, we can make up any counting number at all. Because this example was written on November 20th, we're going to enter 1120 by storing it in the RAND command. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on the calculator. So we're going to put in the number 1120, select the store button, and then we're going to go to math, and then scroll to PRB for probability and select the number 1 by hitting enter. And so now we have this in our screen, and then select enter, so therefore now it's being stored. Then what we're going to do is then we're going to use the R-A-N-D-I-N-T to generate eight numbers. And so in order to do that, okay, we go, need to go to math, select probability, and then scroll down all the way to R-A-N-D-I-N-T. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Now, the first two numbers that we need to put in here are the numbers or the range of numbers that's in the list. So we start with 1 because we're going to 1 and we're going all the way to 10. So that tells us that all 10 students have been included. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to select the number that we want to use. In this case, we're going to put in 4 because we're generating 8 random numbers. So we're going to put in 4 to get the first 4 numbers, and we're going to hit Enter. So the first 4 numbers is going to give us 1, 7, 5, and 6. So we got 1, 7, 5, 6. Now, we want to generate another set of numbers so that we don't repeat any of the students. So for example, if 1 is repeated again, we need to skip it. So we're going to press Enter again to get the next 4 numbers. When we get the next four numbers, you're going to see that one is repeated. So we're not going to re use that number. We're going to go to the next number that's not repeated, which is two. So over here, you can see what's listed in red. It's one, seven, five, six, and two. And therefore, those are the numbers that's been selected that's associated with the names that we applied those numbers to. So now what we're going to do is then we're looking at the numbers 1, 7, 5, 6, and 2. So let's take a look at those numbers. Well, we know that 1 is associated with Gabe. We know that 7 is Simone. We know that 5 is Victor. We know that 6 is Mitch, and then 2 is Tammy. So these are our random sample consisting of those five students.